In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up billing and payment for your Squarespace site and explain to you some of the options that you have available. Uh, so there's two ways to get to that. Uh, whenever you have a new site and you need to put in your billing information, the first thing you can do is click on this button down here that says Trial Account, Upgrade Now. Or you can also get to it by going to the Settings tab over here on the left and then scrolling down and clicking on billing and then it'll give you again that same option uh, where it says trial account upgrade now. If you already have billing information put in and you want to change the card or change your options uh, you just navigate to this section and this is how you can change your billing in the future. So we're going to hit trial account upgrade now And this brings us to our point where we can select a plan on Squarespace. So this is a question a lot of people have as to what plan they should go to. And so briefly I'm just going to kind of explain uh, the basics of the plans here. Uh, for a personal site, this is basically as long as you have less than 20 pages or blog posts, you can function on a personal site. Uh, so if you're really just kind of putting up a standing brochure for your site and you're not going to have a blog or a lot of content, then you can probably get away with the personal theme here. Professional, if you have, plan on doing any sort of blogging or you're going to have a lot of content on your site, then you're going to need to upgrade to the professional account. So that is uh, another thing that just basically if you're going to have a lot of content, then you need to be on professional. And then the big difference when it comes to business is really the amount of stuff that comes along with e-commerce. And there's a lot more options that come along with this, um, some other features that they unlock with that. But really the main reason you're going to go toward business is if you're going to have an e-commerce solution with your site. Uh, they also offer a few other integrations that you can do for um, a handful of other things for their accounting uh, with Zero and a few other things. but. The bulk of it, unless you're doing uh, e-commerce, you're probably going to be good with a professional account. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is it shows $8 per month, $16.24. Uh, that is if you bill monthly, um, but if you bill, or that's that's actually if you pay annually, uh, so that those prices that they have listed here. Uh, but if you notice underneath, it's actually $20 if you pay month to month. Um, so I'm going to go in and just select a plan here. And then this is something that a lot of people miss, um, but right up here, the first thing, the pay annually or the pay monthly, um, be sure to select that or you're going to pay a much bigger amount uh, than you may initially intend. So there it's $192, or you can choose to pay monthly at the $20 per month. Um, so it's pretty simple. You just put in the information there and you are up and going on your Squarespace site. I uh, just wanted to go over this because a lot of people have questions about which plan to pick, so I hope this was helpful. And yeah, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually launch your website live on Squarespace.